What's up, positive people? Yeah, Dana here, and today we're going to be talking about something that I don't talk about nearly enough on this channel, although it's such a huge part of my life, and that is wigs. More specifically, cheap wigs, because I got to be real with myself. I keep my wigs for a long time. I, I get my money's worth out of my wigs, but they always become these stiff masses of hair. The common denominator with all of the wigs that I bought is that they're all from Amazon. Now, the problem is once upon a time, I was able to go on Amazon and get wigs that held up decently long and so long as I was using good product on them, they stayed um, relatively cooperative. But what I'm finding is now, I'm buying wigs like once every three months and once I start to see a pattern, it's an issue. This is my current wig that I've been wearing, a four by four or a four by six or a six by six, five by five. I'm not a full lace girl. And I believe that all of these have gotten raggedy in like 90 days time. Now, this one in particular, I am offended because the reviews, it was like five, four and a half, almost five stars on Amazon. I've had this since March and it's just turning into this dreaded up mess. I'm having to comb it all crazy as a result of me combing it all crazy. It's shedding all crazy. And keep in mind, I'm using really good stuff on these wigs. You know what I'm saying? OG, X, and Shea Moisture, you name it. And they like the tangle, the tangle. I don't wear these to bed. So there's just no reason why they're like this. So I have come to the conclusion that I may need to like step my wig budget up and maybe invest in some pieces that I know will go the distance. There are several hair vloggers, um, wig and weave shop owners that I follow. I just gotta pony up the bread. Like the average price we're talking about is anywhere from like 400 to $600 for something with some length on it. And I just can't get behind that. But here's the thing, when you do the math on all three of these wigs, not counting the bob that y'all see me in sometimes, that's like $400, $500 right there. Like I could have just spent the money and been happy with what I got. I haven't been happy with a wig since I used to have this like curly wig. I want to say like two years ago. I got that on Amazon. Matter of fact, it was everything. That wig was everything. I think I had it one and a half years, two years maybe. Old Faithful that wig was. Old Faithful. So this wig I've actually had... This, this wig I've had some years, but from day one, it's been a matted mess. I will say that when I get product on this, it looks brand new, which is why I haven't let it go. What bugs me about hair in general is that it always smells like a damn factory once it's like bare bones with no product on it. I believe that this was like a Brazilian like wavy or some crap. As you can tell, it's like 50 different textures in here. I don't think I've used heat on this hair in like the longest. Let me comb it so y'all can actually see. Like this one, relatively, for its age, is like easy to deal with. Hold on, let me see so y'all can be like, girl, she running around here with a, uh, you know, with the Tyrone Biggums wig on, you know what I'm saying? Hold up. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? This is my struggle right now. That's why they end up stuffed in a box somewhere because they're difficult to deal with. Okay, so boom. So we got this one, right? You know, she's cute or whatever. Uh, what I really, really like about this one is, is I plucked the ever-living crap out of the closure, so it's really natural. It's thicker than a lot of the other stuff that I have, but I, out of all the stuff that I wear, this part's like the most natural. That's another reason probably why I haven't let go of it. But yeah, I mean, she she's dry, you know what I'm saying? She don't get much wear. And then not only that, but this cap is like entirely too large. So like I tied it up in the back and all this other foolishness. It just doesn't sit on the head right. <sighs> anyway. Next, we have this wig, which I don't remember when I bought this wig. But I want to say it's been, it's been bought within like the last six months. And this one is like a stiff hair hat helmet. As you can see, the ends have completely just molded into themselves and become one mass of hair. 
these wigs and in general when wigs start to get like this i style them in the shower like i get them soaking wet and i just like rip them into submission by the way this is all the hair that came out of the last wig so that's cute i'm gonna take this hair out y'all probably like this is gross girl like you're part of the problem so this one actually all things considered um also too i think it's because i detangled it and was wearing it as a bob so y'all are getting a biased take on this one because this one's been recently detangled this one I mean, I feel like once upon a time it was good hair. I don't know what they do to it that gets it to the point where it starts to become this stiff straw bullshit, but I can't no more. This one, I literally only wear it as a bob. Reason being is because once I get product on it, the waves really are a look. I, I like recently vlogged in this one. Like, I still wear it. I'm talking crap about them, but I still wear them because I bought them. But at this point, I just go, I just want something better. I deserve better okay um last but not least is my most recent wig my uh wig that's not even 60 days old yet um yeah this is a hot tangly mess i've been wearing it in like these large ponies if you've noticed in videos because she's not cascading and bouncing in the wind like how she used to like look at how tangled the front bangs are it's ridiculous this is another one that has to be at this point soaking wet in order to comb it that's from every angle by the way this is like no product so in order for me to get anything done with this i have I, not only do i have to get it soaking wet but i have to make sure that there's a you know a ton of uh, conditioner so because i'm having to drench it in conditioner i usually use like vo5 on it since it's dirt cheap but i should not have to do that and then also because of that i prefer to wear this one in pigtails if you notice i've been wearing it in pigtails a lot i've had it i'm over it i don't want to do this I don't want to have to whip my wigs into submission anymore. I know there are people that don't have to do that. And I don't want to be one of those people that has to do that. So I'm looking into getting myself some new wigs and weaves. Obviously, summertime's coming up. So my hair will be out more too. My hair is growing. It doesn't really show the growth because, you know, shrinkage. The hair that's on my head. Okay. There's some length here and there. I've been really good about chopping off dead ends and such. Uh, yeah, get back a little far here. You can see how long it is, you know, just doesn't show growth. It's crazy because like, oh, wow, I still have a twist in my head. That's funny. Yeah, my hair grows at a snail's pace, which is why I keep it in like protective styles all the time to retain as much as I can on it. In the past, I've come to y'all about my frustrations with it and I'm a lazy natural straight up and down I'm a lazy natural I don't want an elaborate routine I just want my hair to cooperate I would love like a nice four-step process but for now and for later I'm wearing wigs and then obviously I'm having a situation with my edges that I've just been in denial about for a while this is my hair you know I'm not tripping you know it's it's cool for what it is it desperately needs more moisture than it gets and I just don't know how to accommodate that without my hair completely shrinking. It's just not as manageable when it's shrinking. You know, I'm at risk for more breakage when it's shrunk in. So, you know, flat twists and cornrows to the back is what it is. But at this point, I got to figure out a new game plan because my edges are suffering they have been suffering i'm tired of them suffering they deserve better too <laughs> anyway it's a never-ending saga in hairland and i have so many other things going on that my hair is just a non-factor at this point in my life like it's there it does what it does she'll be out this summer when it gets hot but i need higher quality weave and a routine that works and will promote my hair growth and will keep it from being shrunken because I'm not running around here with the baby fro. I'm just not. So anyway, <laughs> that's the video. Um, if you have any good hair vendors, people that you buy your hair from, let me know. The only person that I really follow and I respect and I appreciate is um, Hair by Ebony with an I. I believe her YouTube channel is 
all about ebony or something like that but basically her whole youtube channel initially was her starting her hair business and she was putting people on the game when i was doing um the jewelry line stuff that i gave up on i didn't really give up on it but i definitely put it on pause there were other things that came up i don't know i don't know I might need to follow some of these people's leads and try and start with like an Instagram store, like a big cartel. But that's another conversation for another day. Anyway, I followed her for like hair business advice and just entrepreneurial advice and just to see another black woman starting her business up. She's over a year in now and I was checking out her wigs and they're really dope wigs. She had this 18 inch wig that was like $390, which is pricey. But then again, I also got, I have given Amazon hundreds of dollars for wigs and the average shelf life is like six months if we're keeping it a buck, not even th like three to six months if we're keeping it a buck. And I just at this point feel like if there are people out there selling good wigs, doing good work, they're pre-plucked, pre-styled. That's another thing when you get this stuff from Amazon, that hairline be like that and you got to, you know, work your magic on it. If, it, it's, if it's already going to come somewhat stylized there's part of me that's like hmm i see the value in that or just getting a bundle deal from somebody y'all definitely let me know down in the comment section below yeah i need to use my camera more right i need to use my camera more anyway till later peace positive people